That's actually one of the coolest covers that I've seen in a while, so I gotta give the artist props for coming through with that. What's up everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're an indie artist looking for an album review and some promo, you can hit up Luke at RedMatterSite.com. And what I have for you boys and girls today is just that. It's an indie review for Rav's mixtape, Beneath the Toxic Jungle. Now this one is the follow-up to his Hyperkinesis EP from 2012, and Rav is also from the former Soviet Union, so to find out more about him and to check his links and music, just peep the information box underneath this video. Now this one starts off with a scene from an anime, and there are some anime references all over this project. But the first song we get is called Solanine. It has some very mellow production, and Rav spits about butting heads with his mother, not knowing his father when he was growing up, and how he's trying to find happiness, but he never quite gets there. So this one kind of gives us a glimpse into Rav's lifestyle and also his mind state. So it was a bit of a personal song, and I thought it was a good way to kick things off. Now this track is followed up by Save Face Ez, where we get some nice crackly sampled production, and Kill Bill joins in, spitting that he needs opinions like he needs barf in his face. So I thought that shit was a pretty funny line, and Kill Bill is also featured on the song Lavender, where we get an intro from some Sailor Moon music. I know it sounds very familiar, I don't know where it's from exactly in the show, but I know it's some Sailor Moon shit, so that was a pretty cool throwback if you ask me. Now the beat on this one is just filled with flutes for the first part where Rav is spinning in a nasally way that might remind some people of some old Eminem like Think Back to the Infinite Era and then it switches up to a more jazzy and lounge type of vibe for Kill Bill's verse where he says that he and his crew are on that PS4 shit and everybody else is on Minesweeper and man, Minesweeper? That's taking me way back. That's some old shit like what, maybe Windows 95? Something like that? And the anime vibes continue on the song Devil Fruit Smoothies, where we get this really cool beat that has a bit of a vaporwave vibe to it, but then it switches up for Jinzo the Trap Lord's verse, he goes second, into a more slowed and screwed production. But as far as the anime shit goes, it has Rav spittin' that him and Jinzo are the rap game Luffy and Law, who are two characters from One Piece, and the intro actually comes from the anime One Piece. I haven't watched that one very much, but I had to look up where it was from, and that's what it's from, because apparently Devil Fruit is something that exists in the One Piece world, so I'm not a big anime buff, but I think if you're really into anime, you're going to appreciate these references that are happening all over this mixtape. And the production throughout is very varied as well. The song A Thousand Years in the Mountain has a fun and groovy feel to it that kind of reminds me of some shit that would come out from the gorillas. So I didn't really like it too much at first. I thought it was a little bit odd and strange compared to the rest of the mixtape. But it grew on me more and more after I listened to it because I do like the gorillas. So that kind of sound was cool to me. But I just thought that the vocals were a little bit too distant and echoey on this one. But overall it was still a pretty cool song and it was unique. So overall, I give this mixtape a 3.5 out of 5, because I think the production throughout is pretty strong, and I also like those anime references, because it keeps things very light and fun. And there are also some great features on here as well. The song Adel Rawl is just short and sweet, and one of my favorites, as it features Rav and Square working some fast flows, and also some nice sing-songy flows and harmonies. I thought Square actually reminded me a little bit of Logic, just because of those rapid flows and harmonies. So that was one of my favorite songs on here, and one of my least favorite songs on here is A Better Place. It features Rekadam and Ashido Brown, and while I did like Rav on the first verse, I thought he really killed it. The second verse, I'm not sure which guy was doing that, but I wasn't big on that one at all. I thought the flow was kind of stiff, and the lines about cutting like a surgeon and fucking till she's squirting were just kind of meh, if I'm being honest with you. But that's just what I thought about this mixtape. You guys check it out for yourself and let me know what you think, and make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff, man, where you like my videos, you share them, you follow me on Twitter, you retweet the videos, and you especially subscribe to my channel. We're less than 100 away from 10K, so that's going to be big to hit that mark. Thank you for watching and supporting the channel, everybody. I'll see you next time.